Hallelujah, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Christmas. Thank you, Jesus Christ, that you sent for us, for our sins, to save our sins. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that helping us until we go to heaven. Oh, thank you. I believe Jesus Christ was born by Virgin Mary. I believe Jesus Christ was born to die. That is Christmas or what? Hmm? I believe Holy Spirit is working with you. Like a dove, dove that I want to preach today. The symbolism of the Holy Spirit. Oh, you're going to enjoy it now. When Jesus was baptized by John Baptist, the Jordan River, uh, the heavens were opened. Spirit of God descended like a dove. You know, by the way, I I love dove soap. I use always dove soap. I like. This is I'm joking. And lighted upon to Jesus. The John Baptist described this scene. I saw the Spirit descending from the heaven like a dove, and it remains upon to him. John 1, chapter 32. There are deep meanings <coughs> in the metaphor of uh, a dove symbolizing uh, the Holy Spirit we love. First, all over the world, the dove is known uh, as an uh, emblem of peace. You can find uh, uh, the, the emblem sign of peace as a dove everywhere. The first evidence to show was a dove. It was a dove. God showed to mankind. I want to tell you the the. the uh, the Genesis chapter 8. When God destroyed all flesh by the deluge flood, Noah and uh, the seven members of the family were favored by the Lord God. They were saved, only eight people at that time. Forty days after the ark rest on the mountain Ararat, which is now in the north of Turkey, <clears throat> Noah released the dove through the window of the ark to see if the word was obeyed. The dove returned to Noah. The, the Noah waited seven days more. And he sent forth again to dove out of the ark. And the, the dove came to Noah at the evening. Uh, 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 the, with the, with the, the 
și you know, și 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 got the the olive leaf plucked up so no one knew that the world was abated from off the earth what I'm talking to now the the peace of God returned on earth and that judgment and the rest of God had passed away after Lord God judged all people who sinned against the God. Huh? Lord showed a, 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 the sign that he gonna never punish again of humankind. It was a sign that dove, dove. How beautifully this signifies the presence of the Holy Spirit who never comes to human spirit that under the judgment and the rest of God. All right. Dove is also a symbol of the weakness and the humility attribute of the Holy Spirit that he imparts us. Some behave as if they had been taken by evil spirit. But the evidence uh, of the, the Holy Spirit is weakness and humble spirit. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord. Huh? You know, Dove is also known as a pure and harmless creature. The dove does not kill any other animal, like a wolf or eagles. Note that Holy Spirit is Holy Spirit. <laughs> Hallelujah. Are you, are you with me? Holy Spirit is Holy Spirit. I'm talking small H. Holy Spirit has not come to bite and tear and kill, of course, but to save, heal, and bind up. Look, uh, one chapter, uh, no, no, what, four chapter 18, Jesus Christ proclaimed at the synagogue of Nazareth concerning what he would do by the helping Holy Spirit. Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the good news to the poor. Hallelujah. He has sent me a, 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 the pro, the proclaim the freedom for the prisoner and the recovery of sight of, for the blind to release the oppressed, to proclaim 
for the year of Lord's favor. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord. Pray the Lord. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. The ho Holy Spirit is symbolized as the dove is that the Holy Spirit easily grieved. You know, the works of the Holy Spirit are quenched by the, the betrayal of humankind. What I'm saying, you know, if you harass the dove one or two times, the dove going to leave to you. Dove never come back to you. Hmm? Likewise, to live in harmony as a Christian with the Holy Spirit in our hearts, we must be very careful to have a reverent attitude toward him, not grieve Holy Spirit. Ephesians 4, chapter 30, do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God. Psalm 51, chapter 11, cast me not away from your presence. David cried out. And take not your Holy Spirit from me. Huh? You know, the Holy Spirit that descended in the form of a beautiful dove and the light upon Jesus comes down to you right now. Hallelujah. I believe to feel to feel full your heart. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Like a dog. All right. I'm going to move. Next symbol. That is it's so good. Somebody already know. The Bible contrast, or in some cases, compares fullness of the Holy Spirit with the drunkenness. Hmm? You know, Acts 12, 2 chapter 13, they, in the, on the Pentecost day, they, had, they, they said, they mocked to the, the disciples, they have had too much wine, you know. Hmm? What they it, 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 speaking to disciples when they received the Holy Spirit. Uh, you know, uh, those who had, uh, have experienced the fullness of the Holy Spirit will well understand what this means, like wine. The fullness of the Holy Spirit gives the gladness and the joy to our heart. The fullness of the Holy Spirit brings spiritual joy and eventual pleasure heaven we desire. The fullness of the Holy Spirit also makes us strong in faith and helps us serve God we love, not with a temporary excitement like 
섹스 But with continuous enjoyment Oh, hallelujah, pray the Lord You know Eh, the, the effect of the wine is that it gives unusual boldness. I know some have had experience what I'm talking to you about now. That causes people to take arrogant I know what I'm talking to you because <laughs> I, I, I had been many many experiences over the alcohol I have a dirty story I don't want to talk now. wild on Restrained action. Oh, my brother and sister. Please hear me. Life, your life, we, we live in now on this earth. Feel with the Holy Spirit is also bold life. Hallelujah. The fullness of the Holy Spirit makes you, all Christian, bold to conquer sins we hate. And live victorious life. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It is true that those who are filled with the Holy Spirit often resemble drunken people. But intoxication with the wine is a harmful excess while the fullest Holy Spirit make one perfect. Perfect. Hallelujah. Oh, how wonderful that receiving the Holy Spirit is compared to being sealed. Or oh, that is how we come to possess the assurance of our salvation. Fourth, sealing means to stand for something, uh, you know, to guard against its being opened by an unauthorized person you don't want. In other words, if something is sealed, no one may touch that without your permission. Listen, listen, that is good, real good news. If we are sealed by the blood of Jesus, God keeps us from falling into sin by the power of the Holy Spirit. Uh, you are sealed by the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Nobody touch you. Nobody hurt you. Hallelujah. Second, sealing signifies, you know, Special ownership, which we experience daily. If anyone dares oppose or the, uh, hurts the anointed people of the God, you are, you are children of God, the who are anointed by God. Hallelujah. That, listen, that person you hurt will be Punished by our God. Hmm? Hallelujah. When those people who have been sealed, like you, by the Holy Spirit, 
humble themselves. Yes, we have to humble before the God. Because God keeps you, God protects you, God guides you. No enemy hurts you because you are sealed by the Holy Spirit. We have to obey the will of God and live for His glory. Then the Lord of the heaven and the earth will be your protector and shelter. Shelter. God is your shelter. Okay. In the, in the Holy Spirit, by looking at the full meaning of the guarantee. Oh, hallelujah. That's so good. Which is what is meant by the word honest. Honest. The Holy Spirit with us as our surety, helping us believe without doubt that God is real and that Jesus is our Savior. You know, we, we, we can firmly believe that we are saved. Yes, Satan still and through the endlessly shoot, shoot of the arrow to Christian. And Satan going to lie. Do you think that heaven really exists? Forget such a the stupid thought. To have faith is to have religion. And all religion are the same. Satan whispers to your ear, your ear to every time the Satan is going to deceive to you. At the such a time, if it were not for the Holy Spirit, listen, who guarantees the body of the gospel of Jesus, our speech would go down. In the end, we would uh, fail without faith. But, but when we feel with the Holy Spirit every day, all the arrow of Satan, Satan going to shoot, are uh, finally stopped. Satan will be mad. Satan will be run away. The Holy Spirit is with us as our, you know, surety. Helping us believe without doubt. Hmm? Doubt. Doubt is gone by the Holy Spirit. That God, we compare God is real. That our Satan, you, to, you are to, telling lie. I believe my God is real and that Jesus is our Savior. Hallelujah. Pray the Lord. Amen. Oh, okay, lastly, the Holy Spirit is our guarantee of heaven. We have not yet gone there, heaven. Huh? We do not enjoy yet it. Listen, 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 listen. But we have been given a taste of it, the Holy Spirit. What, he, what is heaven like, look like? Look like? While we walk the path of the life, we do not live in the mere endless imagination about the heaven. Uh, we, the Bible says, heaven is not here, heaven is not there. Jesus says, that heaven is in your heart because the Holy Spirit is dwells in you. We already tasted heaven in this earth until we go to real heaven. Hallelujah. Oh, Thank you, Lord, pray the Lord, give him glory. Yes, yeah. God permits us to enjoy it in advance. Just the taste of the joy, peace, everlasting life, everlasting life that the heaven by sending Holy Spirit to our spirit to satisfy. Oh, hallelujah. What a, what a, what a, Wonderful love that is. This is. What a wonderful love. Halle. That is Christmas is all about. Thank you, Lord. See you next week. Don't go away and 
stay the tele tele telecast. I pray for you the whole because the Holy Spirit will fix you everything you want to be. Thank you. Bye-bye next time. Hallelujah. Pray the Lord. Amen.